King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land, but none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs, Yurt the Silent Chief, Sage Urbane, Skurver the Wanderer, the sixth saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland, and Sage Freyk the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. What's going on guys? This is Evan the Demon Souls Enthusiast bringing another Demon Souls gameplay commentary which is actually going to be the first uploaded on the channel. Uh, originally this was scheduled to be a Dota 2 upload night but unfortunately uh, I'm having some technical difficulties. DX Story, the my selected audio recording software, is functioning great but uh, my settings were kind of wonky and I failed to capture the the sound from my Yeti mic. Um, I'm, I'm definitely running some problems with PC recording difficulty. Uh, I've got an i7 processor and a fancy video card, but the write speed on my hard drive is kind of low. It only like, I don't know, it, it benchmarks kind of inconsistently, but I'd say if you benchmark it a couple times, you're going to come up with like a, you know, a write speed of maybe like 70 to 80 megabytes per second. So I set it like 75 in DX Story. And as a result, uh, it doesn't really write to the drive fast enough, and so I can't really upload from PC in like the quality I might want to. I'm definitely considering going to an external uh, capture device, but investing a lot of PC recording uh, equipment is going to get really expensive, because first I would need a external recording software to really get the quality where I want it, but that's a late, sort of late consideration. Um, we could probably just record it like say 30 frames per second without true quality color, and it would look it would look pretty reasonable, but it wouldn't be a perfect recording. Um, but I get some FPS drop if I don't do about those settings. I can do like 
just shy of true color at you know 720p and that actually records correctly but with that said we're still having some struggle with some PC gameplay I don't really have a headset made for it for PC gaming I have like a Logitech that has crappy audio recording quality it's got excellent uh, audio in my ears but it's got crappy um, commentary so I can use my USB Yeti but if I'm playing say through my speakers which I normally play through speakers I wasn't commentating PC and then, you know, my Yeti headset, anything that plays through my speakers will be picked up by my Yeti on the recording. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if my microphone is on recording sounds, then the sounds coming from my speakers, which I'll be listening to, will be picked up from the microphone. So you kind of line up in a situation where you just, um, it, it doesn't work right. <laughs> so I need really a headset where I can commentate and play at the same time, and getting good audio quality is going to be kind of expensive. It's probably like, you know, getting good audio and, you know, I don't need like audiophile level of headphones, but you know, it's probably a couple hundred bucks and I just don't have that right now. Um, I spent some money going on dates with a girlfriend, spend some more money, um, you know, buying DX Story because I don't pirate programs. So it's basically in a situation where I was like, you know, I need to get a little more money to start my PC gameplays. So we'll see what we can do. I, I definitely think PC gameplay is coming and I think maybe in another week I'll be a little closer to where I need to be. Not entirely sure. So, because of that, the PC Gameplay Friday is not going up tonight, uh, which brings a lot of regret to me because I was looking forward to it. Especially because I played a game of Dota where I was pretty raging and I thought that might have been funny for a live com. But either way, um, we're instead going to upload some Demon Souls. I noticed that there was a lot of Demon Souls requests on the channel. It was between it or Dragon's Dogma, and there was more Demon Souls requests than Dragon Dogma requests. So. Kind of decided to go ahead and put up a Demon Souls gameplay. This is obviously the first area of the game the tutorial. Um, right now, you'll see me kind of playing around with this knight. It's been a long time since I've played Demon Souls, and I'm very used to Dark Souls, so I'm trying the different attacks, and I'm trying to see the stamina break on this weapon, which clearly isn't very high. Uh, it's easier to beat that guy through parrying, but. You know, just kind of experimenting. Uh, you also see some familiar bosses in this game. Uh, I do think. Dark Souls recycled at minimum one boss from Demon's Souls. And I actually enjoy the boss fights in Demon's Souls a lot more than Dark Souls, so... I'm looking forward to putting up gameplay from this game. Uh, I've got probably about three hours of it saved on the hard drive, which was a pretty successful run. And it's really important to me that I don't die in this game because it screws up my world tendency, which I'll elaborate on in another gameplay video, but... I'm actually playing this offline because I don't really want to get invaded by a chicken hawker, which would be someone that has you know, elemental weapons. Um, I should preface by saying elemental builds aren't nearly as powerful in Demon Souls as they were in Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, they were almost a bit of a standard, but in Demon Souls, elemental weapons did vastly less damage than uh, quality weapon builds. And quality weapon builds are, of course, like, you know, X points into stats kind of thing, make the weapon. And I'll elaborate more on another video because. Demon Souls has some different mechanics than Dark Souls that I want to talk about probably in the next upload. But this is just sort of an introduction to the series, an unplanned Demon Souls upload. So this commentary will take us all the way through the tutorial zone, um, killing the optional tutorial boss. And I remember, you know, looking back on when I first got this game, you know, everyone had said it was so difficult, and I and I bought it and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, I play a lot of games, or at least at the time I play a lot more than I do now. So I kind of figured, you know, I'm I'm unstoppable. You know, this game will be challenging, but I'll have no problem. So, played for like a first hour, I knew I was addicted. Tried to kill the first boss, the Asylum Demon, like, seven times. I don't think he's the Asylum Demon on this game, but he's the Asylum Demon of Dark Souls, so. Played him like seven times, and he killed me every time before I just accepted the defeat and went on with the game. But, it's it was, you know, this game, I immediately was hooked on the Soul series, and I, I'm still hooked. Uh, still playing a lot of Dark Souls, obviously, so. Looking forward to this for sure. I didn't really have anything I needed to talk about, just wanted to apologize for the lack of the live PC gameplay I had promised, it just, just didn't work out the way I had planned and there was nothing I could really do about it. Um, you know, maybe next time things will be better, I hope so, because I'm still hoping to get that PC gameplay here, I'm really excited for it. You'll see that I stripped my character down a little bit, um, in Demon Souls armor is far far less effective than it was in Dark Souls, like there's no poise for example, and the defense rarely decreases damage significantly. So you basically wind up being able to wear whatever combination you want for appearance, provided you maintain the full roll speed, which I believe I can do.
So that's why I stripped off all my starting armor and I'm running around like my pants and stuff like that. Uh, you'll see a quick edit there because I lost the Asylum Demon my first time through the fight. So I kind of went back and did it again. And you'll see that the strategy for this is much the same as it was in Dark Souls. Because, you know, Dark Souls basically is paying homage to this boss by having him reappear, or by replacing him in Dark Souls. Demon Souls being a predecessor. Wow, I just made a really simple statement, complicated. Um, you'll see that the boss on Dark Souls was inspired by the boss on Demon Souls. See? So much simpler. So we're going to go ahead and bring down Vanguard here, just to show the completionist, because you know, in Dark Souls you do wind up killing the starting boss once you get your gear. Uh, Asylum Demon goes down once you get you know, your starting gear, your Pyromancy Club, or your regular weapon. In this game it's kind of designed where you're just supposed to lose to him, period, because your death kind of takes you into the starting hub of the world, but you get a little easter egg bonus area for killing him, uh, killing Vanguard, which I think most people probably saw in New Game Plus, because there isn't a whole lot of motivation to bring this guy down early. Just like in Dark Souls, you can bring him down with your bare fist or your sword hilt, which I did on this channel. Uh, it hasn't had a lot of views, but if you guys want to see a total exercise in futility, you guys should jump on my Dark Souls vids and watch me bring down the Asylum Demon with, uh, with my bare fists. Or I think it was a straight sword hilt, actually. Either way, it's a complete waste of time. Um, much like killing Vanguard is here too, but it doesn't take nearly as long. It could take, you know, 30 or 40 minutes to bring down the boss in Dark Souls. This guy, you can, of course, have your full weapons. It's just challenging, because if he t touches you at all, you just instant die. Uh, full life or otherwise, if he hits you, you die 90% of the time. And on the off chance you live with, like, a smidgen of life, he basically just starts swinging as you try to stand up, so... You don't have like a Darkwood Grain Ring, which is completely not in this game. You just have the basic rolls. You're not going to be able to dodge the attacks. But overall, killing Vanguard is much easier than killing the Asylum Demon with your starting items. So, you do get a useless weapon for doing this. Uh, and you also, well, you don't get a useless weapon. You get a useless Demon Soul, which can be used to forge a useless weapon. So, sort of a roundabout thing. In any case, uh, it does take you to the Easter Egg area, which I will demonstrate to you guys now. I've been trying to edit out the loading screen as much as I can to make a more cinematic experience. Demon's Souls will not be the kind of game I do three or four playthroughs on the channel. Like Dark Souls, there's probably a total of like three playthroughs on it, nearly three playthroughs and extra commentaries of some of the bigger areas in the game, so clearly there's been a ton of Dark Souls content. There won't be nearly as much Demon's Souls because the game is older and I think people are kind of over it, but it was requested for the channel, so I felt inclined to provide it. So this will probably be a single run through that will be completed, you know, at my leisure on and off on the channel, but yeah, we'll do a complete playthrough of Demon Souls, then if the servers are still up by the time I get that done, I will show you Demon Souls PvP and more Dark Souls PvP, because I know that's always on the request bin. There's just a lot of different things I want to do on the channel, and you know, I know that Dark Souls PvP is easily the most requested thing, but I don't want to become like a one-trick pony and only upload a singular, a singular thing, the single most requested thing. There's other channels doing that anyway. So in any case, guys, I'd like to appreciate your time as always. Thank you for watching. I'll try to bring you more content from Dark Souls this Monday, more New Game Plus. Um, Wednesday we'll have a random commentary, and once again Friday we'll be trying the PC gameplay again, even if I have to post-commentate it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone next time.
holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it.